Back at Altel Stadium in Jacksonville prior to the kickoff, our two sideline reporters today. Fred Taylor, the lone back, and Brunel will throw on first down. Jimmy Smith, midfield, out of bounds at the 45-yard line, a first down. 70% of his passes to the left side of the field. Fred Taylor, up the middle, room to move, 35, 30, breaking tackles, inside the 20, inside the 15-yard line, and it's a first down of the Titans as Brunel works from the shotgun. Time, throws, touchdown. Seven yards to Kyle Brady and Jacksonville draws first blood. Mason from the five. Dancing, breaks free, 30, 40, and run out of bounds. McNair with plenty of time and throws, it is picked off. Penalty marker is down in the secondary, Renee Stewart. Pass interference, 37 defense, that's an automatic first off. McNair on second and eight. Crossing pattern complete at the 30-yard line. Sixth play of this drive. McNair steps up, tucks it in to the 20, across the 20. McNair in trouble, gets out of it, breaks across the 10 to the 9-yard line and close to a first down. Big Ben is in motion. McNair throws outside, complete Big Ben going for the end zone. No touchdown yet, no signal, and now it is. What a call by Les Stickel, Jeff Fisher. Brunel looks left, throws left, has a man, 25, 26 yard line, third and two. Another blitz. Brunel has time, throws over the middle, incomplete, in and out of the hands of Keenan McCardell. All kinds of time from McNair, pulls it down, 30, 35, first down and more. Slides down at midfield and another big gain for Steve McNair. Steve McNair's numbers, impressive throwing and running. Eddie George, left side, midfield, 40, 35, diving forward to the 30-yard line. Giving the quarterback and the, the receivers time to go down the field and make plays. Tennessee has dominated ball control in this game. McNair, plenty of time, still has time. Now on the move, throws downfield, it is battle for and intercepted. Fernando Bryant missed it last time, came up with it this time. Well, that doesn't really hurt the Tennessee Titans. Good play by the Jacksonville defense. Steps forward, hit from behind as he gets rid of it and completes it. Jimmy Smith on the run. Brought down inside the 40-yard line. It'll be a first down. 39-yard line, blitz. Bishop coming in, he's got him. Loose football picked off by Damon Jones. And Jones makes about a three yard gain out of it. And is the leading tackler for Tennessee in the postseason. Coming this way. And brought down inside the 20 yard line is Fred Taylor. Now Brunel has been under the gun. Third and seven. Brunel. Gonna come this way and throws complete inside the 10. Fred Taylor to the five. It's first and goal. Not in professional football. Everybody knows that he is a special player. Brunel throws end zone. It is intercepted by Marcus. No, and now let's see. Is it? It is. It's an interception. Marcus Robertson in the end zone. McNair. Floats to his right, throws sideline. It is caught, but is he in or out of bounds? He is out of bounds. He's been 
limping on his right foot ever since then. They taped it right after that touchdown. They're putting some more tape on it, but we'll check and find out exactly what the injury is, Greg. First down. The 40. Inside the 40. Inside the 35. Second and short yardage. It's Stewart. Straight ahead. First down and more. 25, 20, 15. Blocker in front of him. Touchdown. Dyson, Sanders, and Mason. The wide receivers on third and long. McNair rolls out of the pocket, pulls it down, still holding, and now throws. Almost complete, inter incomplete, or 74-yard punt for a touchdown during the regular season. Barlow from the 23, dropped it. Loose ball. Tennessee get there in time. They did. Second time today, Reggie Barlow has bobbled the football. That time. Third and seven. McNair has time. The protection is terrific, and now he's on the run. Cuts it up the middle, loose football. Forward inside the 10-yard line. And Benji Olsen. It looks like he might be able to sneak through there. Put it back to the spot where he fumbled it from. Jeff Fisher kind of wishing things along on the sideline. 34-yard field goal attempt by Del Greco. And it's good. Time running down in the first half, and let's go down to Armin Katayan. Armin. Thanks, Coach. Two big turnovers. He told us that you didn't want that. Well, we can't have turnovers against this team. History dictates. Uh, we had an opportunity to score down there. Didn't do it. Then this punt return situation right here. But... Uh, we're ahead at the half, and we're going to really emphasize that part of it and try to eliminate the errors in the second half. Thanks, Coach Greg. Four wide receivers on third and nine. Brunel throwing down the middle. In and out of the hands of Alvis Witted inside the 35-yard line. McNair to throw. Has his man out to the 35-yard line, Isaac Bird. McNair has a man in his face trying to shake him, and he does. On the move, throws, complete. Eddie George out to midfield, and there's a penalty marker back. Personal fall, roughing the passer, 90 defense. And that's why he breaks so many tackles out here during the game. Just as the clock wound down, McNair down the sideline. It is incomplete, and a penalty marker is down. It's going to give Tennessee a first and That's goal. An Let's see if we can see it. Fernando Bryant, number 25, against Kevin Dyson. Puts his hand out. Well, he keeps the hand on, absolutely. His right hand, he, when you pull that left arm down. The Titans looking for the lead. McNair keeps it. Touchdown. Well, this looks like last week for Jeff Fisher. Down at halftime, come out in the second half, take the... Second and 15. Brunel from the shotgun, throws to his right. That one's complete across the 30 to his tight end, Kyle Brady, in a loose football. Who comes up with it? Tennessee. Wow. What a job fighting for the ball. you got to protect it. First down. McNair, quick pass. That one's complete. Jackie Harris inside the 10, out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. McNair on second down. Quick pass is to the goal line. Oh, no. Loose football. Frank Wycheck is the man who lost it, and Jacksonville has come up with it. First down to Mark Brunel. Brunel gives Taylor met at the goal line. Tennessee wants a safety, but he did cross the goal line. Second and ten. 
Brunel throwing out of the zone, end zone. He goes down, and there's the safety. Josh Evans. With five minutes and 13 seconds to play in the third quarter. Derek Mason and Isaac Bird are deep. This is Mason from the 20. 35, 40. Midfield, and there he goes. for the touchdown. <laughs> On first down, Taylor up the middle, 35. Falling forward to the 40-yard line. The Jaguars at midfield, here comes the blitz. Brunel throws. It is, oh, what a catch! Fred Taylor, 14 carries, 95 yards. Brunel. Gonna go deep, down the far sideline. It is incomplete, intended for Jimmy Smith. Brunel with five wide receivers on third and nine. Over the middle, McCardell, and he's gonna come up short of a first down. Play clock down to three. On the blitz, Brunel gets rid of it, it's incomplete. Blaine Bishop into the backfield in a hurry to disrupt the play. Super Bowl video, and. I think they get quite a charge out of that. Five wide receivers for McNair. Pulls it down and goes straight ahead to the 40. Lost the football. Jaguars recover. Tony Brackens gets it. Brunel with five wide receivers. Third down. Penalty marker is down as Brunel takes off and runs. Has first down yardage, dives forward. Holding, 76 out there. Brunel needs the 43-yard line for a first down. Penalty marker down. Brunel has all kinds of time and goes deep. McCardo. He caught it on Blaine Bishop. Now let's check the flag. Illegal shift, the tackle. And the man in motion, we're both moving at the same time. Five-yard penalty. I couldn't see the movement. I think it happened before. Jacksonville Jaguars not as mistake-prone this season as they have been today. It is now third and 19. Brunel spreads the field. Steps up, lost the football. Loose at the 20-yard line. The Titans are there. Pick it up. Javon Curse, and now another loose ball, and Jacksonville gets it back. Ball was covered, recovered by the defense, who subsequently fumbled it at first down, Jacksonville. Second down. Brunel throws complete. McCardo across the 25 to the 28, and that'll be a first down for the Jaguars. On second and 10. Far side pass is complete. McCardo and McCardo across the 40. James Stewart into the ball game now for Jacksonville. Brunel over the middle. Intercepted. Donald Mitchell with the pick. And the ball goes over, turnover number four of the day by the Jaguars. Third and one. McNair gonna run with it. First down, 40, 35, 30, straight up the middle. Inside the 10, stumbling and down at the one yard line. Straight ahead. Touchdown. Well, Greg, you, we can sit here and we can talk about Steve McNair. Yeah, he doesn't throw for a lot of yards, but today. But Tennessee says, nope, I think we recognize that play. You know, we were talking about Jeff Fisher and how he got his team ready for this game. Because he says, my guys are used to fighting the whole game. We play a lot of tight games. Quick slant to Jimmy Smith, and Jimmy Smith to the 40-yard line. You see the timeout situation. Jacksonville has one remaining. 
Brunel throws this side. Kyle Brady. Brady, 30 yard line, pulling his way. Brunel throws. McCardo inside the 15 to the 10. Third down. Brunel, quick pass. Incomplete at the five. It's no penalty. Fourth down. Brunel throws for the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for McCardell, broken up by Blaine Bishop. And in fact, played so many different places. Eddie George up the middle, fights for a first down across the 20 to about the 22 yard line. They had to beat Buffalo at home, then travel to Indianapolis, and then come down here. They had to play the three best teams in the AFC this year. The ball out to the 45 yard line. It's a loose football. And let's see what the call is. Kyle Brady, Denard Walker tearing it away, and it's Tennessee football. That would be the proverbial nail in the coffin. Sixth turnover of the day by the Jacksonville Jaguars. And well, he is one <laughs> drenched head coach. Well, he's taking, he's not taking one bucket, he's taking a bunch of them. Here it comes. There you go. Then he thinks he's out of the woods. No, you're not. Oh, that one, now that will get you. That is it. Look at the Tennessee Titans jump for joy. Eddie George is ecstatic. As the clock winds down, now every original AFL team has reached the Super Bowl at least once. We talked about a team of destiny. Jeff Fisher's Titans look to be that.